Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know who I am. I'm Winter Phoenix, and the last time we completed the greenhouse, super exciting. That is the most biggest update that we needed on the farm. Now that we have that, the rest of our game should run smoothly. Um, so I would really highly recommend if you're playing along with me that you have the greenhouse before winter. Just because it is such a huge... Thing for winter. Anyway, um, so we're gonna start by feeding our chickens. So what is next on our channel for this series? Um, we're gonna feed our chickens and then um, some other things that we need to work on. There's our chickens. Is cows. Are we gonna have cows soon? Yes, we are. We're going to buy, be buying some cows here really soon after we get the greenhouse going. Sheep, sheep will be next after that. And what about the ladies? Um, so we're still taking votes on that. So far the winning bachelorette is Anne. So if you don't want me to marry Anne, um, go ahead and put your vote in. If you don't really care, I'll marry Anne. I will be doing series later for um, the other girls as well. I mean, not like series, but just like short clips of if you were to marry them instead. After that, it's the villagers. We will be friending villagers. Lots and lots of villagers. Um, so we are still working on getting Anne. Anne is at a pink heart, so now she's done. So who is left? None other than Potpourri. So let's go find her, give her her music box, and continue with our process of completing this game. I'm kind of hoping we can get this perfect ending. I'm really trying. I don't know if we're going to get there. Where is she? Let me think. I think she's going to be out by the Harvest Goddess Pond. Oh no, I totally forgot we were building the bridge, so I may not find her today. And we have to do this in order for the perfect ending, completing the bridge. So today we're chopping wood again. Um, there's different work, so it's not all boring. So... Yeah, so we got a little bit more left to do on the bridge. They could use my help tomorrow, which I'm not complaining. You get a thousand gold per day that you work on the bridge, so that's actually a really good amount. Good work. Here's your pay. It would help if you came tomorrow, too. Well, let's rest for now. I'm just going to quickly forage. I don't even know if she's out, but I'm going to try. And she should be super close, too. I think she's out of yellow. Yellow heart. And then we gotta work on befriending um, some of the other harvest sprites for another power berry. Nope, I see her. I see her over there. Yep, she's at yellow. So we'll have her here really soon on a pink heart. Be completed with all the bachelorettes. And then we'll be working on the bachelors and the villagers. gotta fill the whole farm up with grass. She sprained her ankle. It's just like I fell from there. Fell from where? <laughs> There's not even a lump on the ground. How'd you fall? No questions asked. These girls, they all twist their ankles. go water our crops. So one thing I do like about the greenhouse is that time is not spent like you could stay in there all day and not waste any time in the greenhouse. But if you're out and about running around outside, time passes. Same with the barn. And that's the hard part. I don't like to put my animals outside because it uses time that we can be using to run around and talk to villagers and give gifts and all that stuff. Um, and we're really going to have to push in this next year to friend everybody um, so we can get that perfect ending. Um, other things that we're going to need to work on are like the terrace, 
the kitchen, the bathroom, those will all come quickly now that we have the greenhouse. Like, I would suggest nobody spend any money, like, save, 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 save your first year until you have the greenhouse. Because then the rest of your gameplay just comes easy. We're gonna have to fill the entire barn with cows and sheep. I'm probably gonna do two sheep and six cows. Um, so yeah, pick out names, guys. Post in the comments below. Cow names. Sheep names. I'm just going to quickly um, sell my stuff so we have money for tomorrow. Almost looks like we have enough for a cow now, so... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the money just yet. I try to plan slowly so then, like, we're not broke all the time. I mean, what if our chickens need a chicken feed tomorrow? find our horse and I gotta get the music box for potpourri tomorrow I think yeah tomorrow's Sunday on the game so we may or may not find Rick out and about but we'll go take a look but if not no big rush um, and I think we can get married before we uh, complete potpourri's photo event I mean, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get married in the spring because, or even in the winter, if we're gonna get the perfect ending, we need to have our kid at least two months. And it takes her a month to get pregnant, our wife. Um, that way we can have max hearts with our kiddo. So really important that we get married here really soon coming up within the next two months in the game. Another recipe we're gonna have to grab in the winter is an egg for Cliff. If you give Egg a Cliff in the winter, he'll give you a tea recipe. And it's really important that you at least partially befriend Cliff. Like, don't get his heart levels too high because then he'll marry Anne. But you want it just enough to keep him. You want at least 30 friendship points with him. Um, if you get him too high, he'll marry her before you can. But then if you don't get him at 30 friendship points, he will leave in winter because he just doesn't have enough money to feed himself. And Karen too, like Karen's one of the first ones you want a friend, number one, so you can get the whole Kaifu Fairy event, but also she'll leave. Nope, no Rick. Boo. Shame on Rick. Anyway, I guess we'll go uh, do some more work on the bridge, and then we'll forage and try to find Potpourri. He's been waiting. Work ends at three. So today we're doing different work. He, we're gonna hit that wedge with a hammer. And it's so small, you can't see it. It's microscopic. Um, I think we only have one more day of working. I'm not 100% sure. Don't uh, ding me on that. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, I want to say thank you for each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you guys. It's been an amazing journey for me. Like I said, you want to befriend Cliff. A little bit. I'm sorry if you hear my bell dinging in the background. Um, I have sensors in my yard and the wind's blowing today so it's setting all my sensors off. I'm gonna give him an herb because um, befriend the villagers. We're gonna need more wood too for build uh, house upgrades still so just gonna get some wood while I'm out here. Um, we missed potpourri for today, but that's okay, because like I said, as long as we have her before winter, we're okay. Oh yeah, and then winter's coming up. We have the fun, exciting event of uh, cave mining. And there's many interesting things in the mine. We're going to want to get 
um, one of the blue stones and give it to Saibera because he has a pot that he won't sell because it's not the color that he wants. Rick has a weather vane that somehow managed to get buried down there that you give to him. Um, I believe the potion master is looking for a patata root, so we'll have to find that and give that to him. And there's also a power berry down there. We want as many power berries as we can get. And then in winter, also, you want your hammer at a gold level. Because there's a stone over by the pond that you have to smash to get another power berry. So we still have a lot of things coming up that we're going to have to do that you're going to want to keep in mind in order to get a perfect ending. Oh no, I ran out of water. All right, well, I'm going to call it an episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching me. Subscribe if you have not and if you want to see more. Thank you all so very much. Have a great day. Winter Phoenix out.